Hi, I'm Doug McKeeley and you're watching Adam TV. Now for today's episode, we're gonna do another photographic exercise. I can't stress how important these are to help you stay sharp and keep your skills honed. I do these often myself when I've got some time, downtime or a few hours to kill. So the exercise we're gonna to do today is the mixing bowl exercise. Now, we're in central London, so I didn't really wanna bring a mixing bowl all the way up to the middle of town with me, so we're gonna have the mixing hat. Now all it is is a receptacle to hold the ideas we're gonna cut up into strips and stick in there. So first things first, we're gonna to need to grab some paper, just a standard A4, 8 by 10 piece of paper, a pair of scissors, and a pen. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna write our ideas onto the paper, cut it into strips, and drop them into the hat, and then we'll choose one of those topics and we'll explore that photographically. Whatever you write on your pieces of paper can be as diverse as your imagination. For instance, on my pieces of paper, I'm writing things like color, sound, signs, panning, circle. It doesn't really matter what you put on the piece of paper as long as you can photographically illustrate it. Now, in order for this photographic exercise to really take hold, you need to think a little bit outside the box. You need to bring all your photographic skills to bear. In fact, that's the point. And we're not gonna have time today to do all the subjects, but we'll pick one or two or three perhaps and see what we get. So we've got our subjects in the hat, we've mixed them up, and now I'm going to grab a few of them. Okay, our first one is color. Always a good one. Next one is sound. Now that will be interesting. How do we do that photographically? So let's look at the last one. Signs. It's a good one. Uh, Central London, tons and tons of different kinds of signs. So now it's up to us to take those subjects, get out into the city, and photographically explore what they mean. How do we show sound in a stills photograph? Well, off the top of my head, there's a couple of things I'm thinking of. One, men working, that's always a good one. Could be jackhammers, could be people ripping up the roads, anything really. Uh, groups of people talking, you know, in a place like London, there's lots of tourists, lots of people talking. Uh, the other one I'm thinking about, it could be uh, the vehicle mufflers, all that diesel fumes coming out of the back of black taxis or buses or trucks or whatever. Um, you just got to think laterally, like all of these things. Color is a fantastic topic as well, because there's so much of it, especially in the city. I don't mean just some random shot of blue or red or whatever. But think of the shapes or how it's interacting with the, the environment around it. And the last one I'm looking at is signs. Now this city is, there's thousands of signs. I don't just mean some street sign, but something interesting. Not just, uh, uh, you know, the, the road sign, but we really, really want to have a good search around in the area we're at to find something that's maybe a little funny, maybe a little bit different. Really good one too. So that's it for the mixing bowl exercise. Sands mixing bowl, of course. Thanks for watching. I'm Doug McKinley for Adama TV. Don't forget, you can subscribe to Adama TV for more great videos and tell us what you think. You can like, comment, or share this video. And please stop by the Adorama Learning Center for more great tips and tricks.